in some instances, when a judge suppresses physical evidence or statements because it was obtained by law enforcement officers improperly, subsequent evidence may be suppressed as well if the judge determines that it was the direct result of the police actions that led to the original evidence being suppressed. This is known as the fruits of the poisonous tree doctrine. For example, suppose police officers interrogate a suspect without properly administering the Miranda warnings. The suspect confesses to the crime and tells the police where he has hidden physical evidence. The police obtain a search warrant and seize the evidence. Clearly, the trial judge will suppress the statement because the suspect was not informed of his Miranda rights. The judge will also likely suppress the physical evidence because the police learned of its hiding place as a result of the confession. However, in 1991, the Supreme Court developed the inevitable discovery rule in Arizona v. Fulamante. The rule holds that evidence obtained in violation of due process requirements need not automatically be excluded at trial if the government can show that it would have inevitably discovered the evidence by alternative law enforcement methods. The Fulamante case involves statements made by a suspect. Presumably, however, the doctrine would also apply to physical evidence as well. In our hypothetical, if the prosecution can show that the police would have found the physical evidence by alternative law enforcement means, the evidence would not necessarily be suppressed at trial.